All right, people, Mr. Wright here with lesson 4.4a for trombone. I have found, after writing this whole method, that uh, some people struggle with getting some higher notes uh, towards the beginning, like in lesson five, we gotta hit an F in first position. So what I did is I rewrote and add, added some exercises in here, 4.4a and 4.4b just to help us to practice some of these lower notes to help build up our chops for the upper notes. Also, um, I can't remember if I've mentioned this before, but there's an exercise apparatus called the PEET, P-E-T-E, -E, and there's other brands of it, but what it does, see this little disc at the end of this uh, little shaft right here, you put it just in front, the little disc right there in front of your teeth and behind the lips like this, and you just simply pull out. And the resistance that you have, like keeping your lips from being pulled out, that's the same sensation that you would have when you're trying to flex your lips in against the teeth, to make them tight against the teeth, like right? You don't wanna mash your lips together because that'll give you a pinched off sound that goes sharp in your high register and, be, and you'll be flat in your low register. So you wanna, uh, you can get one of these. You, you don't have to get one that's silver plated or steel. You can get one that's made of plastic and they can be like 14 bucks. Uh, but these, some exp are more expensive, but uh, it's just, it maybe you just looking at me, what I'm doing and the, the resistance and the, what I'm going through to pull, keep this from pulling my lips outward. That's the same uh, sensation that you would have as you're flexing your lips against the teeth. Remember you're, you're, your bottom teeth are like the, the fretboard of a violin or a guitar. Your lips are like the string. And as you uh, tighten up your lips against the uh, fretboard of your teeth, your lower teeth in particular, uh, this vibrating surface becomes shorter and shorter driving the pitch up. You're also arcing the back of the tongue to get a higher pitch. Like your tongue will come up and forward like this, like tai, for your higher pitches. So we're gonna start with lesson 4.4a and hopefully uh, we can build up some strength in our embouchure and our muscles in our mouth. Remember, you don't wanna pull back on the corners of your mouth uh, to get a smile embouchure. You wanna keep your corners firm and you're just basically going <laughs> It's hard, it's hard to, you, what you, if I'm just buzzing with just my lips, my lips are actually touching, but inside of the mouthpiece, my lips are about a quarter of an inch apart. Like if I play a note, like say an F, <laughs> and I pull the mouthpiece away from my mouth, my lips will stop buzzing because my lips are so far apart. So what goes on in the mouthpiece is, as opposed to just buzzing with your lips outside the mouthpiece, two different things. So please be aware of that. I've put the positions that we'll need at the top of the page and you'll see fourth position. Fourth position, well, let me start from the top. First position is when the slide is all the way in. Second position is when you see about an inch of the silver slide on the inside. And then third position is when this crossbar is right before the bell, approximately. And then this piece right here of the trump outer trombone slide, when it's about even with the end of the bell. Now, some of, on some trombones, this is shorter. This is shorter on my trombone, so it'll be just a little bit beyond that. But some student line, line trombones, they'll be about even with the end of the bell because this part right here will be a little bit longer. Then fifth position is about right out here. It's closer to sixth than it is to fourth then six positions out here, and then seventh position is when you start to see a little bit of that larger section of the slide showing in seventh position. Another way of tuning up your positions is to do the Remington exercise, and we'll get into that later, but basically you start in first position with either an F or a B flat, whichever one you can hit. Like if I start on an F, and I'll go from F and first down to second. I'll go first to third, first to fourth. Listen to what it sounds like. See, I went a little bit too low at first. So I went down to seventh position. I did one, two, one, three, one, four, one, five, one, six, one, seven. Coming back. Now, if you can't, say you can't hit that F in first position, then you do it a B flat, like the. Uh, 
and you go down to five to six to seven, same way. All right, that helps you to tune up your uh, each of your slide positions to find out exactly where it is by using your ear. And that was uh, an exercise developed by Emory Remington. He taught at the Eastman School of Music. And uh, so let's start off with uh, number one, the first little line up there at the top of the page, or measure one. And you'll see that it starts off with a D in fourth position. So when they end of the, this little part of the slide right there, the end of the slide is even with the end of the bell approximately, or you could go. That's your D. So, and it also is a whole note D. It's on the middle line. It's in the dead center of the bass clef staff right there. I call it dead middle D in fourth position. It's also the dead middle of the slide in fourth position. So it starts off with a whole note uh, that takes up the whole measure. It's four beats the measure, it says in our time signature. The quarter note receives a beat, so we know that's gonna get four beats. So we'll hold out a sound for four beats. We'll begin with a tongue going, da like that. We're not gonna sing, we'll go and we'll hold out our breath and blow, keep blowing for four beats while that tone plays. Then it's followed by a whole note rest for four beats of silence. So we have four beats of sound, four beats of silence. Then followed by another whole note for four beats of sound. And we begin each note with a playing the trombone or any woodwind or brass wind instrument is always easier when you begin your notes with the tongue. So you're gonna go da. So here we go. Here's number one. I'll use a metronome set at 100 beats per minute. One, two, three. Now we're gonna do a number two, or measure nine, I should say. I didn't put a number beside each one of these, but measure nine starts with two half notes. So a half note is half as long as a whole note. So a whole note gets four beats and four four time signature. These half notes, they're hollow on the inside with a stem connected to them. They're gonna get two beats a piece. So we'll go da, da, then we'll rest a whole measure. So let's do number, me measure nine, starting, we'll do that line right there. One, two, three. One, two, three. Begin each note with the tongue. Then a half note rest. Three, four. Now, I forgot to explain, when you hit measure five, you've got a half note followed by a half note rest. Two beats of sound two beats of silence. Notice that that little dash is located in a different spot on the staff. It's sitting on the top of that uh, middle line, whereas a, a whole note rest is like underneath it. So that's a whole note, a uh, half note and a half note rest right there in measure five. Then in measure 17, the third line down, we've got quarter notes. They're solid black on the inside and they have a stem. These receive one beat each in four, four time signature. So we would go, Da, 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 da. And in the next measure, you have quarter note rest. They get one beat of silence each. So you just count off those four beats of rest. Typically, you don't see four quarter notes of rest. You'll just see a whole note rest there. But I put them in there just so you could be aware of how long they are and what they look like. So here comes the third line, starting at measure 17. One, two, three. Two, three. Notice when I got to measure five, there's a quarter note followed by a quarter note rest, quarter note, quarter note rest. So you go da, rest, da, 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 and there's a half note for two beats, so you hold that out for two beats. Then in the next measure, two measures from the end, da, da, rest, da, da. So you've got one note that we're dealing with, but different types of note values associated with it. A whole note for four beats, 
a half note that's hollow in the side, inside with the stem and solid quarter notes with also with the stem. So a whole note for four beats, half note for two beats, and a quarter note for one beat. And of course there are opposite rest values, whole note rest, four beats, half note rest, two beats, and a quarter note rest for one beat. So now we get into number 20, uh, measure 25 or number four there. And so we got a half note for two beats. We hold out for two beats, followed by two quarter notes. So we go da, 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 rest, da, 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 rest, da, 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 rest, da, 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 da. So let's try number uh, four or measure 25. One, two, and you'll notice sometimes I can take a little catch breath here whenever I need a little extra air you could take it the best time to take it during a quarter note rest or some type of rest but sometimes you can just Take a quick rest, a little breath whenever you can in between two notes. Now, we're on the uh, the next line here, measure 33, number five, and it says, uh, oh, I did number them. Oh, that's cool. But uh, number five, right where it says uh, measure 33, this is a C in sixth position. So I'm going to put my arm pretty much stretched out just like that. And that's my C in sixth position. Notice it starts off with a whole note, four beats of sound, followed by a whole note rest, and I have two half note Cs, and this is the new note C, okay? So you got to, it's in the second space from the bottom. So you just have to memorize that that note, second space from the bottom, is gonna be a C in sixth position. Then in the third measure, like it says, is two half notes for two beats a piece. Then you got a whole note in the fourth measure. Then in the fifth measure, you've got quarter, quarter, half note, quarter, quarter, half note, then four straight quarter notes, then a whole note C. So let's try number number five right there. And a one, two, three. One, two, three. going to start mixing up these notes right here. We've got a, it start number six in measure 41 starts off with a whole note C in sixth position. Then you come up to a D, the note moves up to that middle line, <clears throat> excuse me. And then in the next measure, measure three of it, you've got uh, two half note C's in sixth position and you go back to a D in fourth. Then you got a quarter, quarter, half note, a D, D, C, 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 D, D, C, C, D, and sometimes it's good to just practice by moving the slide where you want to do. Let's, uh, let's do number six now. One, two, three. You heard that little spia kind of note in there. That's why I didn't really do a good job of using my tongue to start the note. If you just blow air or use the back of your throat going, uh, like I did as a fifth grade beginner, uh, that's not a good way to do it. Uh, Cause later on, we're gonna need to be able to go da, tiki da, tiki da, tiki da. Like go. And you can't do that with the back of your throat and it not sound really strange. So uh, make sure you use your tongue. It make, it'll make it so much easier to cause those notes to speak easier as well. Number seven, or measure 49, starts off with a C, C, D, C, C, D, 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 C. Then you've got straight quarter notes. Let's try number seven, measure 49. One, two, three. <laughs> All right.
right. Then number eight, we're just working on those same two notes again. D, D, C, D, then rest four beats. D, D, C, D. So let's try number eight. One, two. Now you'll see me as I'm getting ready to play. I'll put the mouth up to my mouth and then I'll put it on my lips. Then you'll see me pull my lips apart like mwah. Right? That's so my lips have plenty of room to vibrate inside the mouthpiece. If I leave it up there and I go, that's with my lips really close together. Okay? So I'm going to pull my lips apart and my teeth to where they're about a uh, quarter of an inch, a little bit bigger than a quarter of an inch apart. And I, duh, and I dropped my tongue to the bottom of my mouth to get a yeah, daw open sound inside of my mouth. If I have it closed off in the in, inside of my mouth, it'll sound like this. <laughs> right? Daw. It's like your it's like a yawning sensation inside your mouth, okay? And then uh, we're gonna do number nine. Oh, we've got a new note. It's at a B flat in first position. And you see what I did just then? I went I open up the inside of my mouth, spread my teeth and lips about yay far apart, about a little over a quarter of an inch apart. Daw, tongue drop to the bottom of the mouth, have an open sound, like a yawning sensation. Oh, they say yawning is contagious. Ready? So let's try number nine. We've got a bunch of B flats here, second line from the bottom. It's got a flat right in front of it, help us remember. So you've got B flat, and then for a whole note, then a whole note rest, and two half notes, and then we start doing quarter notes. Let's try it. One, two, three. Begin each note with a tongue. One, two, quarter notes now. One, two, three. All right, and now we're gonna mix up two of those notes, the B flat in first position, with a C in sixth position in the second measure. So I got two half note B flats and I go out to a C in sixth position. So it's not too much of a mix up of notes, just B flat and C. You gotta recognize the difference between a note, that B flat that's on the second line from the bottom and a C which is on the second space from the bottom. Here comes number nine, or I'm sorry, number 10. One, two, three. <laughs> Now, if you've got a trigger trombone with an F attachment, uh, what you can do is just press the trigger. Instead of going to sixth position, you just press the trigger down. All right. Right? And uh, it also makes B naturals easier also. You can hit the trigger and go to like uh, second and a half position to get that B natural. Or you use your ear to tune it up. It also depends on how you've adjusted your tuning slide for the F attachment. Now, look at number 11. We're gonna go from a B flat, C, then we're gonna use that D. So we're using three different notes, the B flat in first, the C in second and sixth position, then a D in fourth position. So it should be like, you should use your ear to tune it up. Do, re, mi, like that. So here comes number 11. One, two, Then number number 12, hot cross buns, goes D, C, B flat, and you rest for D, C, B flat, then you got quarter notes, T, 
ta da 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 four six to first position and don't get in the habit of writing the positions over the notes because that will train you in not how to read the notes you you want to get to where you can uh, just look at the note recognize it be less for you to think about uh, trust me in this uh, if you write the slide positions over the notes you'll never learn how to read so make sure you don't write slide positions over the notes. Please don't do that. You know, don't, don't cheat yourself. So here comes number 12. One, two, three. slower and that's fine like, like what I'll do right now I'm gonna slow it down to say 90 beats per minute we'll do the same one slower number 12 and you may need to do this with a lot of these other exercises too the it's just a suggested BPM at the very beginning so let's do number 12 again I'm gonna do it at 90 BPM here we go number 12 one two three <laughs> Out with a tongue. Now, the next one, number 13, you may even slow it down even further. I'm going to go down to 40 beats per minute. And uh, this is Mary Had a Little Lamb. You're going to go D, C, B flat, C, D, D, D. So you're covering some real estate here, all right? So let's do this one a little bit slower and uh, just take our time with it. One, two, three. Number 14, B flat, B flat, C, D, D, C, B flat, C, D, B flat. That's the name. That is a, a tune. I did not write that. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, anyway, you probably know. You've probably heard of it. So here goes number 14. One, two, three. So that's lesson 4.4a.